Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel guys. Um, thanks for being here and as always, thanks for the support. A gentle reminder to give the youths them a strength. Give the channel a strength. Smash the like button. Free and easy way to support the channel and help us to get the video out there. And also, you know, subscribe if you're new. You know, share as well if you're so inclined, guys. So thanks again for being here. So, uh, 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 guys, I just put out a video like a while ago. See, just put out a video where me I talk about how it sounds. I was speaking about how it sounds as if some agreement is in place between Paul Hall to come on board long time. If you were if you're listening to the press conference, you know, guys, you would hear, you know, a common theme throughout the press conference, you know, which was indicating to me personally that Paul Hall seemed to have been thinking not only about the six upcoming games, but past that as well, right? And I, I was saying to myself, He's making so many statements on, you know, beyond the qualifiers that, that, that would reach or that would be relevant to beyond the, the, the World Cup qualifying games, right? The six games, right? This don't sound to me like a virgin who is going to be coming on board just for six games, right? Just when you listen to the theme of the press conference, it, it, even when he wasn't asked about it, it sounded to me as if Paul Hall was already speaking. He was speaking as if he was going to be here for quite a long time. Guys, I stumbled on this and, and I put out the video talking about that and I stumbled on this article in the Gleaner and this particular paragraph. Not, not the Gleaner, rather. Sorry, the Observer. Let me read it to you guys quickly. While Hall's immediate task is to revive the country's faltering World Cup qualifying campaign, JFF President Michael Ricketts told the Jamaica Observer on Thursday that a more extensive role is in the pipeline. It's Hall's role, or Hall's role rather, is not just the qualifiers. We are looking long term, so we are going to put programs in place to ensure it's a long-term exercise as part of his national as part of his contractual arrangement you hear this guys as part of his contractual arrangement meaning say it's set in stone in you know, a guys as part of his contractual arrangement he's going to work closely with the coaches around the country so we kind of bring them up to par, Ricky said. As I said, guys, when I was up, because I was in on the press conference, you know, by the way, observer, a quote, answers to questions when I ask, you know, Paul has answers to questions when I ask in the press conference. Then couldn't get used to my strength and say the question come from Formula Man. Sure. But anyways, you know, but... As you can tell, I'm in a, a bit of a upbeat mood, right? Because honestly, people me, me just put out a video talking about... Me, let me read something to you guys. And, and, I, and I've stated this in the video that I, I put out earlier. Because I, was, I didn't know if there was actually something in place, you know, right? I was speculating, could there be something in place long-term, an arrangement already made between Paul Hall and my crickets? Let me tell you the exact statement that kind of made me wonder about this, right? Paul Hall said, I would be here for the long term. In one, in one of the answers that he was giving to a question, it passed by many people. He said it quickly and his voice was kind of low, but he said this, I would be here for the long term and hope to develop lots more than just results. That sound, when I heard that statement, I said to myself, say, yo, in a Paul Hall's head, it, it, it slip out. You know when you know something, but you know if you talk it and it just slip out, right? It, 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 it slipped out. To, it sounded to me like it slipped out because subconsciously it sounded to me, given by the 
statement, that statement that he made, it sounded to me as if in his subconscious, he knew that he was going to be here not only for the six games, but for a longer time period, right? And I think, you know, I already did the video stating about the possible impact that Paul Hall could have, right? I just put it out. You guys can go watch it, stating about the possible impact Paul Hall could have on Jamaica's national program. He was using words like overhaul and stating about how the top countries, right, in world football, to get to where they are now, there was a point in time where they went through a major overhaul in their footballing structure, right? The guy, and he mentioned the word overhaul like about twice, right? Things like, you know, implementing a new style of play, changing the culture, implementing a new system, right? Just basically he was stating a lot of long-term plans in the press conference. And I'm saying to myself, this cannot be a guy who is just here for the short term, right? I would love to know whose idea was this. Did the JFF say to Paul Hall, you know, while we're at it in terms of bringing you on for the, the six games, you know, could you stay a bit longer, right, and help us to really fix up what we have here? Or was it Paul Hall who, you know, from a patriotic standpoint was like, guys, I would really, really, really love to, 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 to you know, have an impact? Because he, he, he said it, you know, when he's talking about things like, you know, it's been a dream of mine since, you know, as long as I've been with Jamaica. You know, um, this opportunity speaks the loudest to me more than just the World Cup, right? I mean, it, I wouldn't be surprised if out of patriotism, Paul has said, you know, mention it to the JFF that, hey, I could, you know, come on um, from a consultancy standpoint and help to lay a template right help to to lay a module so to speak you know to help progress jamaica's football right guys i i am really 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 and truly happy to hear this really really this could have a massive impact on jamaica's football as i said you can question paul hall's senior um coaching um experience and so forth and so forth but his development he, you know, the development aspect of Paul Hall, you cannot question that the man play, you know, English Premier League players like Eze has passed through his hands. A number of players playing at the highest level in England has passed through his hands, right? So this guy knows what it is like to be in a, a, a very professional, high level development environment. He knows what it is like to spearhead it and he knows what it, what it takes to, you know, what is needed to develop top quality players, right? And he indicated that, hey, the talent is here. But of course, the development is the major issue. Guys, I only hope that the JFF are really and truly serious about maximizing Paul Hall's full potential impact right stay out of his way right don't don't try and hamper the guys you know you know you know basically don't don't try and hamper him or hamper his his job or you know whatever you guys have planned with Paul Hall. it wasn't really vague but you know they never really laid it out fully Right, they just said contractual agreements, right? Mentioned about working with coaches as well. So I just hope the JFS stays out of Paul Hall's way and provide him with the the the, the necessary tools to for you know to, to, to best facilitate Paul Hall having as big an impact on our football as he possibly can, right? Please don't make unprofessionalism deter him or, 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 you know, discourage him, right, from giving his all we're helping Jamaica's football is concerned, right? JFF, just please, 
best facilitate Paul Hall as possible. You know, listen to him, take his counsel, right? And 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 be serious about taking his counsel, right? Man, I say you him for come out here and just take over, no. But you know, just just listen to him and 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 act upon his suggestions and his template and his plans and his ideas, etc., etc. You know, it would be interesting to know if Paul will be doing, you know, continuing to work with QPR while, you know, just basically providing a consultation role, so to speak. I don't, I don't know what the role would look like, but it would be interesting to see how this takes shape. You know, will he be coming on board with Jamaica full time? Will he be doing it in the capacity of national head coach? Like something along the lines of what um, Klinsman, right? Of what Klinsman was, was, you know, contracted to the United States of America to do, right? And we all know, you know, we all have an idea of what that role was, right? And, and the JFF mentioned more extensive role in the pipeline. So, you know, it, it's unclear at this time, you know, all the, the aspects of what Paul Hall's job description would be like, you know, for this contractual arrangement to see him working, you know, with our program on a long-term basis. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see how this all takes shape, you know. But, guys... Very excited about this major development, right? So hopefully it has a, a, a massive, massive impact on Jamaica's football. Hopefully it has a massive impact. They say he would be working closely with the coaches around the country. And, you know, I think our coaches will greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate, right? you know, this attempt to upgrade their coaching acumen. So, guys, take care. Stay safe. Remember, again, smash the like button for an easy way to support the channel. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, guys, take care.